Hey software, welcome to your second mini project where you will be making an emoji. There is no code along in this video, this is just to launch and explain the project to you. Um, if you have watched the other video, you know that July 17th is World Emoji Day. And the reason it is World Emoji Day, it is the, it is the day that shows up on the calendar emoji on all iOS or Apple products. Um, emojis were originally made by a Japanese designer named Shigetaka Kurita. And he was inspired by people trying to send hearts with like the less than and the three symbol. All emojis that you, well not all emojis, but a huge chunk of emojis came out in 1999 and they were originally designed for a Japanese only audience, which is why some of the things that you see are really particular to Japanese culture and why some things that you're used to seeing in your own culture don't exist in emojis. At the start, there were only 176 emojis, and as we know now, there are way more than 176. They have been growing, and they are all managed by this thing called the Unicode Consortium. The Unicode Consortium oversees what is allowed to become an emoji, and it currently lists 1,644 emojis, including smileys, people, sports, foods, animal flags, and a myriad of other categories. We send a ton of emojis every day, and it's really, really important that we have good representation in our emojis and that we can use them to send things that are important to us. So your task is going to be to create a dynamic, dynamic meaning it changes, emoji in P5, or to remix a current emoji, and that emoji will then be added to the Unicode emoji library. And I will make sure I link this somewhere so you can explore that library if you'd like to. You'll be making a colorful emoji using shapes we've covered in this unit, and you will be using built-in and custom variables to make this emoji your own. So what you guys should be doing um, is making an emoji using shapes that we have made. Again, this can be a completely new emoji if there is something that you think is missing. You can also remake an emoji that exists now. So you can try and like replicate it perfectly. You can try and make a more fun version that you think should exist. It's completely up to you. It can be a face, it can be a thing, but it should be recognizable as an emoji. Um, and you just need to make sure that you are using those shapes we've learned about. You are using built-in variables. So that's like your mouse X, your mouse Y. You are using custom variables. That's like those ones you use for random to change something randomly every time the program is run. Um, and then every time it's run, something about it should change. So it doesn't always need to be a random location or a random size, but every time I hit play, I should get some new, slightly random result. When you turn this in, you will also be writing one paragraph about the meaning of your emoji, and that's actually something you're going to do next week. So you're going to have one day of work, and then kind of a gap, and then another day of work. So the paragraph is just to explain what your emoji is and why you think your emoji is useful. So here is the example. Um, I'm just going to read this paragraph. I will also link it so that you guys have it. But this says, my new emoji is simple. My shorthand name for him would be Steve. Steve is a regular party guy currently unrepresented in the emoji canon. There are happy emojis and there are emojis that represent parties, cakes, balloons, etc. But there is no happy party man like Steve. The triangle on his head represents a party hat, which could change colors in future iterations. I was also careful to give Steve ears, as I am currently bothered by the lack of ears in most emojis. I used a wide arc to make Steve's generally pleased expression as if he is looking up at a beautiful birthday cake. I hope one day to live in a world where the Unicode Consortium has made Steve real so I can send him to all my friends. So you'll make your emoji, you'll write your explanation, um, and that will be your project. If you guys have questions, come to Lab Lounge Hours or reach out via email. I am so, so excited to see what you guys make. Thanks, guys.